Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. In our today's video, we will simulate a process using Aspen Hises. And what that process is or what is the objective of our today's activity is that we have to remove the hydrogen from methane, ethylene and ethane mixture. In an ethylene plant, we have a feed stream which contains hydrogen, methane, ethylene and ethane. Before the stream can be fed to the demethanolizer, hydrogen stream or the hydrogen component needs to be removed to reduce the volumetric flow rate. Because once the volumetric flow rate will be reduced, the column size will also be reduced. Since hydrogen has a much higher vapor pressure than the other components, one or more flash drums can be used for hydrogen removal. System is basically focusing on the ethylene plant and if we keep hydrogen with the system or with the mixture, then the demethanizer column size needs to be increased. But if we install a flash and remove the hydrogen from the system, we can reduce the size of the demethanizer column. So we have been given the problem statement that the feed stream is a combination of 6306 pound per hour of hydrogen, 29458 pound per hour of methane, 5671 pound per hour of ethane, and 26049 pound per hour of ethylene. The mole fraction of hydrogen in the feed stream is greater than 0.51, which indicates a large volume of hydrogen in the feed stream. So there are two goals for this section and these two goals will be achieved simultaneously. The first goal is that after the bulk of hydrogen is removed, the stream contains less than 0.02 mole fraction of hydrogen. And number two, loss of ethylene to the hydrogen stream should be less than 1%. So if in order to illustrate it, let's look at the process flow diagram that the feed will be first sent to the cooler where its temperature will obviously will be decreased. And then it will be sent to the flash separator. In this flash separator, there will be vapor liquid separation. Obviously, hydrogen is a vapor stream, and remaining will be the liquid stream. We say that loss of ethylene to hydrogen stream should be less than 1%. And this is the overall flow sheet of the system which we will be following in our process. So the feed specification include minus 90 degree Fahrenheit, the pressure of 475 psia. The total flow rate of the stream is. 67484 pound per hour with hydrogen flow rate as 6306, methane as 29458, ethane as 5671, and ethylene as 26049 pound per hour. Initially, we are not sure about the duty of the system, so we will specify it as 0 kilocalories per hour or 0 PTUs per hour and pressure drop as 0 PSIA. However, this heat duty will be adjusted once we use the spreadsheet and adjust tool in Aspen Hysis. So we will go to the Aspen Hysis now and we will simulate the process. So first thing is to add the components. So we will add the required components, hydrogen, methane, ethane and ethene, which is specified as ethylene in the system. Going to the fluid package, we will select the pangrobenzone fluid package and then we will go to the simulation environment and we will select the cooler block here and we will specify it accordingly. We will change its name to cooler. Inlet is specified feed, energy, and cooled stream. Now, first we will specify the feed stream. We have by default selected the units of English field 1C, and the specification include minus 90 degree Fahrenheit, 475 psi as pressure. The total mass flow is 67484 pound per hour. Double click on it and changing it to mass flow so we can specify the mass flow of individual component 6306 pound per hour of hydrogen 29458 pound per hour of methane 5671 pound per hour of ethane and 26049 pound per hour of ethylene or ethene and the total flow rate is same if we go to the mole fraction you can see the hydrogen mole fraction is 0.5144 as we have specified in our problem statement now we will specify the parameter delta P as 0 and since it's the initial system we will specify 0 Bt per hour as duty however it will be adjusted later on using the other tools. Next task is to add a separator we will click on it we will name it as separator and then we will adjust accordingly like the inlet is cool stream outlet is vapor and 
required in the process and you can go to the flow sheet and you can go to the worksheet to see the that the, all the quantity is going to the vapor stream and there is no separation here the separation will be caused once we specify something in this cooler block however to do this we will use the spreadsheet and adjust tool so first we will go to the spreadsheet tool and here it is we will double click on it we will go to the spreadsheet we will say feed ethylene or you can say ethylene in ethylene in feed stream ethylene in liquid stream and lost ethylene ethylene feed stream how we can specify it right click on it go to add import variable click on this feed go to the molar flow here scroll it down and this is master component molar flow select ethylene and select it in the same way ethylene in liquid so the liquid is here the same procedure of selecting going to the molar flow ethylene and select it and the formula is b1 minus b2 divided by b1 for the lost ethylene which means ethylene in feed stream minus ethylene in liquid stream divided by the ethylene in the feed stream so that will obviously be one and now we have to adjust it this value should not be more than 0 0.01 as it has been specified in our problem statement for this we need to go to the adjust tool which is obviously here double click on it now what will be adjusted obviously we need to specify something in the cooler or the cooler should do some working to ensure the separation so it means that we need to specify the cooler duty so select variable in cooler specify the or select the duty in target variable it is the lost ethylene which should not be greater than 0 0.01. However, that lost ethylene is, is in the spreadsheet tool. That's why we have moved towards the spreadsheet tool initially before going to the adjust tool. So spreadsheet one, which is B3, and this value should not be more than 0 0.01. Going to the parameters in step size, which let's say specify the step size as one into 10 raised to the power five BT per hours. And now we will start it. Adjust is at maximum iterations. Do you want to continue further for 10 iterations? You can see the target value is 0.9266, while the match value to meet with the 0 0.01. Like it has reduced it from 1 to 0 0.9262, while we require 0 0.01. So we will select yes, again select yes, 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 and accordingly we will select it until we get our required results. And now you can see it has given you the required result. We can do another way of increasing the iterations. That is one of the way of doing it as well. Now going to the spreadsheet, you can see that the lost ethylene is now 1.095 into 10 raised to power minus 2, which is 0 0.1095, which is about 0 0.01095, which is approximately the same which our system requires. And going to the separator, double click on it. And going to the composition, you can see that the hydrogen mole fraction is 0 0.0173, which is less than 0 0.02. So our both objectives are achieved. The, what were those objectives? If I take you back to the slide, that once the bulk of hydrogen is removed, the stream contains less than 0 0.02 mole fraction of hydrogen, number one. And number two, loss of ethylene to hydrogen stream should be less than 1%. And so both the specifications are achieved in our system so that's how we have simulated these process flow sheet or the process system that we had to remove the hydrogen from ethylene ethane and methane stream because of the reason i have initially explained that if we will not remove the hydrogen the demethanizer column size will be increased and accordingly it will lead to the higher capital cost so i hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture if you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.